Welcome everybody to the Preacher Plays Greed Fall 2. And this is just the beginning. This is episode zero, which for me and for you is just loading the game for the very first time. And I see all of a sudden, much to my chagrin, I hate this. I have to create an account in order to play the game. I don't like it. I already have a Steam account. I already have a PSN account. I don't really need an Akon community account. Is there an option to not create an account? I don't like it. Listen here, my Nakon. I don't want this, but I will go ahead and sign up for this. Okay, insert my name. Insert my date of birth. Hopefully I remember to edit this so you all can't see this information. Continue. I am the preacher place. Three to 15 characters. Huh? They want me to shrink this up. I am the preacher. And now we get to that beautiful moment where I have terms and conditions of use. I'm not going to make you watch me read this, but I actually do read these. So, so there you are. I've read them and it is your basic boilerplate we, Nikon, own everything. You, the preacher, own nothing. We can take over everything. You can own and appreciate nothing. And we have all the rights and you have none of them. That's exactly what it says. Oh, and by the way, we can and will and probably will update these terms of use from time to time. That's what it says. I don't like it, but that's the way it is in this world, isn't it? Once the lawyers get involved, we all have to suffer. We sent a confirmation email to the following address. Hopefully I remember to uh, blur that out. Follow them instructions to verify. Well, I waited for several minutes. Nothing showed up in my inbox. So I clicked the verify button and it moved me forward. Okay, we're going to adjust this. We want this one to be barely visible. I mean, that's kind of barely visible. This is clearly visible and this is visible, okay. I guess we'll just leave it like that. All right, now just in case you do not know how episode zero works, episode zero is always just me looking at the menus, starting the game for the first time, loading the menus, looking at the options that are available to us, maybe character creation, maybe not. We'll see how it goes in just a moment, but right now it looks halfway decent. We're gonna have to adjust. Let's go to the video. I don't know if that's too loud. I hope that's not too loud. I'll I may have to edit it in post. All right. Borderless windowed is what they've got me at. I guess that's fine. All right. Resolution. Yes, that's where I am. V-Sync. Uh, can I do? No. Okay. We'll leave it at 60. Screen number one. I don't want it on screen number two or three. So there you go. Field of view. I guess we will leave it right there. And the graphics quality. Oh, yeah. Let's turn it up. Let's turn it all the way up. Let's save it. it the funny thing is, is I'm seeing a letterbox effect on the screen. Let me adjust something. Okay, what I ended up with was a huge mistake with regards to the settings in my recording of OBS. It was set to some ridiculously small size and so it was all messed up. It is all good now. Let's go in and take a look. Once again, this is the main menu. New game, obviously we will start there at the next episode load that will load obviously something that we have previously saved what happens if we hit that now nothing we don't have any saved games options we're going to be right there and i'm assuming just before we go to options that my nikon takes me online support takes me to support and credits takes me obviously to those relative things okay let's take a look at options this is where we are game controls okay keyboard mouse I am not doing keyboard mouse, so uh, I'm going to be doing gamepad. So I'm not going to memorize this. I am super, super grateful for Dead Good Games and Nakan and Spiders for having sending me, having sent me 
the access code for this game a couple days early so that I can get some recording done. And in that packet, they sent me a controller schema that I looked at and quickly forgot. So I will try to figure some of these things out later. Now, I should pay attention to a couple of these. Split and form party is left button Y. Tracking is left button B. I'm hoping that I will learn this um, organically as I go into the game, right? There's no default button for the map, huh? Hmm. All right, well, we're gonna try. I might have to do some remapping. We'll do that later. Let's take a look at control options. Camera sensitivity, I'm gonna leave these default. I don't know where they're at, except, except I hate vibration. I really do, unless it is incredibly subtle. Just drives me insane. And I'm not going to invert that. I'm going to go to normal. Camera sensitivity is at 50 for now. Uh, yes, save changes. Go back to game. Yes, we're going to be in English. That is my predominant language. What are my options? French? Um, no. Spanish? Unfortunately, I never learned Spanish. I learned some French on the mission field in Haiti. Not enough. Spanish? No, never learned any of it. I certainly don't know Brazilian Portuguese. I'm glad it's there. Uh, Italian, no. German? I have three years in high, in high school and uh, a couple years in uh, college and university. So, but I'm not going for German because most of my German has been forgotten, I'm afraid. Never learned Russian, but you got to admit, Russian does sound like one of the coolest languages out there to me. Polish, simplified Chinese, Korean, Japanese. Nice selection. I'm pretty pleased. Lots of folks from around the world can enjoy the game. Camera effects. Um, yes. Let's enable the tutorials because I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Display headgear. Displays or hides. Hats, headdresses, or helmets. Only the, the displays affected headwear stats are still applied. Okay, they had this in Monster Hunter, and I really liked it. Now, I'm going to leave the headgear on for now. I may come back and change this, actually. Monster Hunter World, I loved the fact that you could turn the headgear on and off so that you could see the lovely face that you spent so much time building. That's cool. I appreciate that. Thank you, Spiders, for putting that in the game. That is, I think that is a quality of life improvement that does not really make a huge difference in the gameplay, but it certainly makes the game feel more like my game. So let's save that, move on to interface. Display in combat. Uh, full or minimal or none. I guess I'm going for full exploration UI. We're going to go for full. I have, it's probably going to be lines and dashes and glowing things all over the place. Do I want the mini-map to rotate? Um, I have mixed feelings about this. I will probably adjust this. I'm going to leave it at yes since that is the default right now. So we'll save those default settings. Comfort. Subtitles. Yes, please. Tier Fradin subtitles. Uh, oh, subtitle. I think I'm Tier Fradin, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. This time you play as a native of Tier Fradi, uprooted by force from your island and taken to the continent of Gakane. In this old world, in a constant state of conflict and ravaged by the Malakar Plague and the political scheming of various factions, you must regain your freedom and forge your own destiny. Tackle each challenge you face through diplomacy, cunning, or your combat skills. And alongside your newfound allies, put an end to the dark schemes that threaten the continent and your island. Anyhow, that's the flavor text they sent me. Subtitle size, we'll make it medium. Do we get to see that? I wish we could see this on the screen. Okay. Quality of life request for spiders and anybody who's paying attention. We should see a representation on the screen. We just should. Subtitle background, um, a little, a little, uh, background box so that it's easier to see. I think I'm going to turn that on, maybe, yep, I'm going to turn it on just to make it higher contrast. That's my plan. Audio, okay, I should have probably gone here first. I usually do this. I'm going to leave master volume at 100. Uh, music volume, we're coming down because I don't want the music, as I think it has been, I don't want the music to overwhelm what is happening on the screen. I want to be able to hear dialogue is always at 100. The special effects, I'm probably going to bring those down as well. I want 
the dialogue to be crisp and clear. So that's going to be at 100. And the master volume probably covers all of those. Let's do this. I think that's pretty good. Effects volume, I want to be able to hear them. I don't want it to overcome everything else that's happening. Certainly don't want it to overwhelm my voice either. My sultry, glorious, beautiful voice. All right, go down to video. We were just here. We already saw it. Uh, there's no need to play anymore. We're going to try Ultra, and I hope it works. Advanced video. Oh, goody. Let's see here. What do we have? Upscaling. Ooh. I could do the AMD. Now, wait a minute. If I go... Hmm. Let me look at this here. I'm going to not do upscaling just yet. I want to see how... Um, this is a uh, XFS Speedster. It is a Radeon 7900 XTX card. So, um, top of the line in its day. But we'll just see how it goes. Resolution scale, I'm going to set you at 100%. Adjust the 3D scene rendering resolution. Okay. Come on down. Model details ultra. Level of detail transition. You know what? Let's turn it all the way up. Whoop, cancel. Let's turn. Oh, medium is as high as it goes. Really? That's kind of not great. Foliage animation. Yep, I want to see the grass and the trees waving in the breeze. <laughs> I rhymed. Texture details. We'll leave those high. Look at that. Changes the video RAM. Anisotropy. I don't know what that means, but we're going to bump it. Um, I'm going for the Ultra. I'm going for the Ultra. Uh, somewhere on one of my prior uh, games, somebody told me what these things were, and <laughs> I'm afraid I don't remember. Shadow resolution and range. Indirect illumination. Sure. SSAO. It puts you on high where you belong. Reflections. They're glorious. Particles. And terrain displacement. Okay. Enable terrain displacement mapping. I mean, that seems necessary to me. It's probably going to dog my computer all the way down. Save the changes here. Go to brightness. I just did that. And by golly, I think somehow we've made it to the end of just the menuing. All right, I got a little bit of editing to do. And then from there, I will go immediately into new game. That's where I'm going to pick up on episode one. Thanks for joining me on episode zero, Greedfall 2, The Dying World. I am the Preacher, and I will see you in just a second.